It's a film about deception, how we've been deceived. Uh, it's about inconvenient science uh, and how people who find this science uh, to get in the way, how they've been able to deceive us over the years. It started with tobacco. Uh, they knew tobacco was deadly uh, in the 50s, and yet for another 45, 50 years, they were able to keep saying their questions about this product, and they were able to keep selling it. I'm not a scientist. I really don't want to, you know, sort of find, I'm not an expert at all about uh, what's happening, but I think on a simple level, 30 years ago, we figured out that CO2 causes warming of the earth, and it doesn't only go up. It's like the earth catches a cold. Uh, but, you know, in a way, our film is more about how these deceivers work. Uh, what was interesting is they provided me access. Uh, they let me into their world. Uh, and they were sometimes frank about what they did, which was shocking. A number of people want to have exposure uh, and some of them are rather frank about what they do. I w would ask one character what I thought were really hard questions, and he would always shock me with harder answers, sort of taking pride in what he did, uh, attacking the scientists. Uh, I find it amazing that there are people, scientists out there, who always thought they were just doing their work, and all of a sudden they have a bullseye, you know, a target on them, uh, and people are going after them because their work happens to get in the way of someone else's product. The one thing I wanted to do was make this an entertaining film, not an earnest film. And it's sort of, it's the irony of, you know, almost inspired by thank you for smoking or something, you know, of trying to figure out how do you sort of create a tone that's just not obvious. And that was the fun part of going about it with Merchants of Doubt. Well, I think irony is probably better than comedic. Uh, no, but a lot of it came from the deniers themselves in a funny way, that they were, uh, as they say, from their point of view is keep it short, keep it simple, keep it funny. And I was thinking, you know, on one hand, we were inspired by Naomi Oreski and Eric Conway's book, but I was also inspired by some of the deniers to how do you deliver content that will be of interest to people.